Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video on fault code P059F, symptoms, causes, and diagnostics. Fault code P059F indicates active grill shutter performance, and so it's essentially indicating that your active grill shutters are not properly functioning. So what are active grill shutters? They're a fairly straightforward component that are mostly non-essential to engine performance and drivability, but essentially it's just a few little slats behind your front grille that will open and close to control airflow over the surface of the radiator. And the main purpose here is that at higher speeds when you already have good airflow and should have proper cooling over the radiator and engine surfaces, then those shutters can actually close to block off airflow and improve aerodynamics and therefore fuel economy and reduce emissions. Additionally, those shutters will close on a cold start and that will help reduce airflow over the radiator, which allows the engine to get up to operating temperature as quickly as possible. And then of course, in other moments that they may be open, this would be where you need improved cooling and maximum airflow over the radiator. So this might be something like stop and go traffic or slower speed driving. You do need better airflow over the radiator to help with cooling the engine. So that's the basic gist of how this works. It's very simple and for the most part, again, non-essential to engine operation. However, depending on the failure, it can be something that causes some issues and so it still does does need to be looked into and ideally fixed as quickly as possible. So starting off with some of the most common symptoms of P059F, number one is going to be the check engine light. And often this is really the only noticeable symptom associated with this fault code. However, if the active grill shutters fail in the open position, then you might notice that your vehicle is running cooler than usual and taking longer than usual to warm up. On the contrary, if those active grill shutters fail in the closed position and block off airflow to the radiator, you might notice that your engine is running hotter than usual or beginning to overheat a little bit. So this can be a bit more serious if those active grill shutters fail in the closed position. But again, a lot of the times you won't notice anything extreme with those symptoms and you'll simply notice that check engine light and associated P059F code. Now moving on to the most common causes of fault code P059F. Number one is going to be a faulty motor or actuator. Number two, any issues with the wiring, loose connections, damage to the wiring, and the wiring harness. Additionally, any damage to the grill could cause issues with the active grill shutters, so especially if you've been in an accident or potentially had a large rock hit the front grills, then that could have potentially damaged the active grill shutters. And then you could have debris blocking the proper operation of the active grill shutters. And then lastly, another thing is potentially fuses. So those are really the most common causes. Pretty simple. Again, a lot of the times it's going to boil down to a physical issue. So last but not least, moving on to diagnosing fault code P059F. Starting off with the basics number one on the list, always check the simple stuff first. Physically inspect the grill, look for any visible damage, any debris that could be blocking the active grill shutters, whether that be something like a plastic bag or potentially a large rock that got jammed in there. Additionally, locate the proper fuse for the active grill shutter system. Check that fuse, make sure you don't have a blown fuse and then inspect the wiring harness and connections. Look for any visible damage there or potentially loose connections. A lot of the times with this kind of issue, that can actually expose the problem. It could be something as simple as debris blocking it or a loose connection, etc. If everything seems in place there, the next best step is testing the motor or the actuator, simply sending power to the unit and seeing if it responds and actually opens and closes the active grill shutters, then that's going to be a good way to test and confirm whether or not that motor is working. If everything checks out there, then it's best to use a multimeter and test the wiring and see if you are actually getting power to the motor. And that should be the last step if you've made it this far and haven't exposed the issue yet it's likely going to lie within the wiring. So then a new wiring harness might be the solution. But ultimately, again, this is something that's fairly simple to diagnose. A lot of the times you'll notice something is out of place. There's some debris blocking the active grill shutters, or you notice some visible damage that exposes the problem at hand. Otherwise, it's likely going to be an issue with the wiring or motor itself. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.